to become a pharmacy technician. My name is Stephen Pettit. I'm a pharmacist and I'm going to tell you about the fantastic opportunity you have before you. With this class, you can become a pharmacy technician. You'll be prepared to be able to take the certification exam needed to become a pharmacy technician. Many people have been deceived into thinking that they need a degree to be able to sit for the exam. That is simply not the case. Different states require different exams to be taken, but you do not need a two-year or four-year degree to be able to sit for the pharmacy technician certification exam. Now let's look into why a certification exam is even needed. The big reason is the public's trusting you with their loved ones. You're going to be taking care of someone's mother, someone's father, someone's grandmother, someone's grandfather, and because of that, the public needs to know that you know what you're doing. Well, through this class, you'll be able to learn all the skills and all the requirements needed to become a good pharmacy technician. I'm going to show you not just what it takes to pass the course, but some of the things that really aren't tested on that really make you not only a good but a great pharmacy technician. One of the reasons why certification is even necessary is because it's a corporation, it's a business. Um, some stores will be doing over a thousand prescriptions a day and you're not going to need to be not only good at what you do, but fast at what you do. Basically, the public thinks that those people that can pass this exam are people that are most likely to be efficient and fast at their jobs. Now, there's a couple different types of certification you can get. There's the Pharmacy Technician Certification Board, and there's also the Certified Pharmacy Technician Exam. Either of those are both certification exams, but some states require one or the other. I've attached a document. Take a look at it and see what's required in your state. Also, you may not be eligible to take the exam if you've had a felony within the last five years. Now, if that felony was pharmacy or drug related, then you won't be able to sit for it at all. Uh, one thing that's very important to note that is you're going to need to receive your high school diploma or your GED by the time you sit for the exam. So make sure you have all that in order. If you're a senior in high school, this, exam, this class is a great thing to take, but understand that you won't be able to sit for the exam until after you have your diploma. You've obviously decided to take this class, but why? Uh, let me tell you a few good reasons to become a pharmacy technician. I've got some bullet point items right here. The outlook, the salary, the variable hours, uh, you know, the job growth. They're all great reasons, but let me go in depth a little bit into some of them. First of all, there's the hourly wage. That's actually gone up from the 2011 number that's here. Um, the 90th percentile of uh, pharmacy technicians make over $20 an hour. And that's not a pie in the sky number. That's actually some technicians that I've worked with personally. Um, if you'll stay in one place for long enough, you can get you know, up the ladder and be able to be promoted into eventually where $20 an hour is definitely something you can obtain. Um, also, I want you to look at the bottom of the chart, the number of jobs. In 2011, there was almost 350,000 jobs available nationwide. That number is going up by quite a bit by the year 2020. It's going to go up by 32% to over half a million jobs. You might have some friends that are going to graduate college. They're going to you know, get their degree, but they're not going to have a job when they get through, and all they're going to have is college debt. Uh, that's a big issue um, maybe in just America today, but you are picking a career that actually has jobs available for it, and that's got to be a good feeling. Now, what skills do you need to even be a pharmacy technician? You're going to need math skills. That's very important, and we will discuss that in depth in this course. You will need memorization and application. So many different uh, uh, vocabulary terms or equations that you'll need to know. And you'll just have to kind of put them in your head and be able to regurgitate them whenever necessary. Customer service and attention to detail are both important things to know, probably in any job, but certainly in pharmacy is no exception. And then the most important thing you could possibly know is common sense is the most important skill. Some people say common sense is not so common anymore. Um, that may be the case, but you'll need to have it in a pharmacy. Now, what are we going to cover in this class? Well, a lot of the things are going to be basically designed for you to be able to pass the certification exam. We're going to cover pharmacy abbreviations. You might hear it called pharmacy shorthand or SIG codes. You ever get uh, your prescription and before you take it to the pharmacy, you look at it and it says QD, BID, GTT, AU. And you have no clue what it says. You, you know you went to the doctor for an earache, but you have no clue what it's saying. Well, you're going to know what it says whenever you get through with this class. Also, medications. You're going to learn the different medication forms 
in around the top 200 drugs. Now I'm going to try to get you to hone in on some more even important than the top 200. Well, you know, top 50 and top 100 may be even more important than the top 200. But I'll have the, uh, around 200 drugs available for you to know their brand, their generic, and a little bit about what they do. And that will be very important for you to take into the pharmacy technician exam. Pharmacy math is the biggest module we're going to cover. Um, because of that, I'm going to do my best to be entertaining. I'm going to do my best to be more entertaining than, say, your high school math teacher. Okay, um, so through that, it's an online course. You'll be able to watch it over and over again until you really get it. And hey, isn't that the beauty of an online course? You can watch it until you get it. You can watch it at 2 a.m. if you feel like it. Um, but even the homework assignments we give, I'm going to have um, a video of me working through the homework assignments. So you can work on it on your own and then see if you were working on it correctly later. And then lastly, we're going to cover pharmacy law. There's just a few sections we're going to cover on pharmacy law between one and ten questions on the exam. That should be good news for you because you can just learn those few sections and bam, you've got those uh, one to ten questions correct. So in conclusion, we talked about why this is such a great career to get into, why you've struck at the right moment with the job growth that's going to happen, but really when you get down to it, the initial investment you're making into this course is an investment that's going to pay off for years. Both in the title that you can get, you'll be known as your name, CPHT, afterwards, and then you'll also be paid well monetarily afterwards. The schedule can be good. Some pharmacies are closed on weekends. Some are closed at night. Um, you know, some are 24 hours. It can work well around child care or if you're going to do it as a college job that you're in. It's a great entry into the healthcare field. I look forward to teaching you the rest of the class. I look forward to you taking the class and passing the certification exam and being a great pharmacy technician.